Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Man Antonelli here. Today I wanted to talk a little recruiting. I've put up a bunch of videos lately and I've gotten asked a lot of questions on those videos and so I want to start answering a couple of them. Today is talking about the different ways to get recruited and I've had a lot of people say, you know, there's there's travel ball teams and there's college camps and there's individual showcases and there's there's all these different forms of recruiting or opportunities for you to get recruited and what's the best one right some people are saying this is better than that or you know everyone's got their own opinion and so I want to kind of highlight a couple of different points on on each on each way of being recruited each uh, avenue um, first so travel ball right a lot of people have been commenting saying you know, I play for our travel ball team and we don't seem to have anyone come watch our games and it's just luck if, if a college coach just stumbles upon our games and so I'd rather, I think I get more out of, you know, college camps or whatever. Here's my opinion. There's a bunch of different ways to get recruited and there isn't just one way that you should just do college camps or you should just do individual showcases or you should just do travel ball okay I think there's a way to blend everything together and get the best of of all of these different avenues okay so let me talk let me hit on travel ball first for a minute obviously because we have a travel ball program okay so when it comes to travel ball there's a couple of things every program is different I hear so many stories from people that just have nightmare travel ball stories where their coaches don't help them at all in the recruiting process uh, they don't practice they don't play in very good tournaments they don't have a very good team and so of course if that is your travel ball program then it's gonna be very difficult to get recruited so when it comes to travel ball you want to pick up a, a team that hopefully has some talent on it if you've got guys let's just say you want to play college baseball okay which if you're watching this you do obviously if you have guys on your team that are able to play college baseball well then obviously there's a better chance that a college coach is going to be out there to watch versus if you play on a team where where nine out of ten guys on the team can't ever sniff a college field then coaches are not going to go watch that team play i mean that's very obvious so you've got to make sure you have some talent that's the first thing the second thing is you got to make sure that you're going to tournaments that college coaches are going to. Now, there's tons of tournaments around the country, and college coaches are going all over the place. But there are certain tournaments that you know there's going to be tons of college coaches there, okay? And so when we put our travel ball schedule together, I'm trying to go to as many of those tournaments as possible. Now, it's not possible to go to all of them, right? So we, we have some major tournaments where we absolutely know those things are going to be packed. And then there's some dates that maybe we say, okay, this is our best option for this weekend. We'll go here. Now, we've got a pretty good team and we've got you know every player in our team pretty much goes off and plays college baseball on our 17u team so college coaches know this and they come to our games so the tournament selection is really important also the other thing is having a coach that helps you with the recruiting process like I think it's crazy if you play for a travel ball team and you're able to get recruited and nobody is helping giving you any direction like that that to me is crazy so we help all of our players so we make recruiting videos for every one of our players we constantly reach out to college coaches I mean most of my days are spent either calling college coaches uh, answering calls from college coaches sending out emails text messages I mean that's a huge part of having a travel ball team so if you're not getting that on your travel ball team then you're you're again you're not in a good program and so it's not travel ball that's the problem it's the program that's the problem okay so we really really help our guys like I, I I'm just coming from a game now and there's college coaches at the game and they're coming over constantly and talking to me about our players I've already talked to all these coaches but they're they're getting updates we're discussing players so I know what the colleges are thinking about the players and I can go back to our players and say hey this is what this guy said this is what that guy said this is where you fit in here um, that's a huge part of travel ball and running a program so make sure you're getting that if you're not getting that there's plenty of teams that offer that and so you got to go find one where you can get that type of uh, attention okay and receive that type of information 
So that's really, really important as, as well. The other thing with Travel Ball, and again, I don't want this to be like a promotion for Travel Ball, but another part of it is the practice times, right? So we have 30 practices during the winter. Fielding, offensive practices, defensive practices. Okay, we have practice during the season. And then we've got a 40-game schedule. So it's not like the recruiting part of it for our older teams is a huge part of it, right? But it's also development. So I think they both have to go hand in hand, and that's what makes a, a good college or travel ball program when it comes to recruiting. So now, but with that being said, we don't tell our guys, like, you just play for us and you don't want to do any of this other stuff. Like, there's plenty of other things that you can do. College camps are a huge thing that you can do. And so we tell our guys, like, listen, if you have certain schools that this is on your target list and you know that they, they're interested and we believe that you could play there, well, then it's, it's, a, it's a good idea to go to college camps. You're able to get on campus. You're able to see campus. You're able to, to, to play under the coaching staff because they're going to run the camps. They're going to be able to get a really good look at you. They're going to be able to, get to know everything about you. They're going to get to know your ability on the field, obviously, but also uh, your personality, what type of player you are, what type of person you are, what type of work ethic you have. Um, all those things are going to be able to see all this stuff. And so it's really, really important. That's, that's one of the best ways to get a team to be able to look at you is to get on college campuses, okay, and go to the actual college camp. And they're usually not super expensive, so you can do a, a good amount of them. Um, and we recommend it to our guys. Now, we don't recommend that you just run out to 100 different college camps, but you want to really fine-tune your – when you get your, your target list, another thing that we work with our guys on – once you've established, okay, these are the schools I think I can play at, or these are the schools that are interested, and maybe they want to see you more, then you go to the college camp, okay? So that's, again, that's just a piece of the puzzle. There's individual showcases that also can help, right? And there's tons of those. There's perfect game ones. There's PBR ones. There's, there's you know, hedge first. There's show ball. There's, there's so many of them where you're going to go as an individual, not as a team. And they're really good as well. Again, that's another piece of the puzzle. So there's there's so many different things that you can do. And obviously, everything costs money. And so you've got to you've got to make sure financially that you're not just unless you've just got tons of money, you don't care about just throwing it all into recruiting stuff. Then that's fine. But you've got to be smart about it as well. But I think you can pick and choose a couple, you know, a couple college camps, maybe a couple individual showcases, and then. Um, and then you have your travel ball team as kind of the core part of the recruiting process, and you're going to be in really, really, really good shape. And I never tell guys like, "Well, this is better than that," or you know, "You're like, why would you ever do that?" Like some people say, a lot of people, again, when it comes to travel ball, they'll just be like, they'll see like, they'll play with like one poor organization, or they'll see a really horrible organization, and they'll just be like, they'll lump every travel ball organization in that and be like, "Oh, they all stink. They, they don't help recruiting." Like I can name. Uh, a plenty of travel ball programs that are excellent, excellent at helping players get recruited, excellent at developing players and getting them to play against top competition and getting them to be able to, when you play with great players, you get better, right? When you practice with great players, you get better. So it's not just about the recruiting, that's part of it, it's about developing. So that's why I'm a huge, obviously I own a travel ball program, but the reason I started it because I think they're super valuable. It's the best thing that I ever did as a player. I owe literally... My, my development as a player, I owe to travel ball, okay? And it, it gets me mad when people are just like, oh, it's, you know, it's a money maker. Oh, it's this and it's that and it doesn't help and everything. Like, yeah, there are programs like that, but there's plenty of programs that aren't like that. So if, if, those, if the only programs you know are the ones that are, are terrible, then you've got to do a better job of finding a good program. There's got to be a good program there, you all right, there's so many of them, okay? You just got to make sure you pick the right one. So hopefully that kind of helps you guys out a little bit. I've been getting this question a lot, and I just wanted to give a, a little bit of insight, and hopefully that helps you out. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. I'm on my way. I just finished up a game. We got a little break, and I'm on my way to another one. So subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. Go check out all our other recruiting videos. I've got tons of them that I've made. So go check all of those out, and that's all we got. We'll talk to you later.